Okay, question number two. So, a firm wishes to review its recruitment, recruitment process. This question considers the validity and reliability of the methods used. Okay, I'm not going to read out all this, guys, but essentially, um, they interview candidates and they rate them as excellent, very good, and are good. And then at the end of the trial period, they see how many stayed and how many leave, how many left. And I want to see is there a relationship between the rating and, um, and whether they stayed or, or leave at the end of the, of the trial period. So this is actually a nice starting question because it's worth six marks and it's pretty much a basic chi-squared independence test. It says use an appropriate test. So guys, the first mark is for actually writing down chi-squared test for independence. So che it's checking independence that you know what test to use. It says 5% significance level to determine whether a new employee staying with the firm is independent of their interview rating. State the null and alternative hypothesis. Okay, so the null hypothesis for a test of independence is always um, they are independent. So rating and whether they stay are independent, are independent. And then H1, the alternative hypothesis, uh, rating and whether they stay are not, not independent. Okay, so we always assume they're independent unless we can prove otherwise. Obviously, guys, write out that in full in an exam. Okay, so state the alternative hypothesis, the p-value and conclusion of the test, right? So the p-value, I need to find this out. So let's go and create a matrix. So I'm going to do menu, matrix, create, matrix. And it's going to be uh, two rows, three columns. And I'm going to put in 12. 20. I say it's easy guys because it's not even there isn't even categories of five or below that I need to combine so it's just a straightforward test for independence this is 15 and this is 10 okay I'm going to call this matrix store this matrix as M okay then go menu statistics stat tests uh, chi-squared two-way test observed matrix is m press ok and i get the p-value the p-value is 0 0.487 0 0.487 so basically guys that's one mark one mark that's one mark two that's another mark three then my next mark is to say that um 0 0.487 is greater than 0 0.05 it's way bigger than 0 0.05 which means like that big p value means that these te these these um results are are reasonable and it doesn't show any it does not show that there there is dependence on whether they're excellent very good and good or whether they stay or leave at all so um i'm going to say because this is bigger than this no evidence or let's say not sufficient evidence to reject h0 we assume they're independent you could, you could write out all this but i'm just gonna write we assume they are independent Remember, this doesn't prove they are, are independent, but the test doesn't give us enough evidence to, to say that they are not independent. Okay, that's part A.